Dear future Kevin, Harvey, today you are 25 years old. It seems kind of crazy, right, to even say it like 25. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that we would be making it so far in life? So much has happened in the last year. Hell, the last year has been so crazy, I don't even know where to begin. I'm aware that you've had some crazy ups and downs and some major downs. However, my little warrior, you kept on fucking going. You might not be exactly where you wanted to be, but you're far from where you started. Look at the last year itself. Look at how much your life has changed. You decided to take control of your life and you quit your high paying job in order for you to pursue your dream of becoming a content creator. And for that, I am proud of you. The 12 year old Kevin would look at you as a complete inspiration and he would say, man, this guy is a gangster. I wish I could be as cool as him. The 14 year old you would have never thought that you'd be such a baller traveling over 50 different destinations around the globe. This year itself, you lived in three different countries, which is actually really cool. The 15 year old you who struggled to make friends would have never thought that you'd be making friends from all over the world. And I'm glad that you know that everywhere you go, there's always a new friend to be made and always a new memory to be created with them. The 16 year old Kevin who used to be so broke, who used to be so broke, who used to be so broke, who used to be so 17 year old you who could not stand the thought of being alone would have never thought that you'd be traveling the world solo, taking yourself out to restaurants and clubs while also being comfortable with the fact that sometimes the best memories are created when you are alone. 18-year-old Kevin who was just starting out with Instagram and YouTube would have never thought that you'd be blowing up like this, creating content that would be impacting millions of people. You currently have 200,000 Instagram followers which is kinda crazy. Who would have ever thought right, that you would say a laude hatta and then go viral on the internet? However, I'm glad you did because that right there, that was you. That wasn't Kevin trying to impress his people or his audience, that was just Kevin being Kevin. And I'm glad that you're starting to be comfortable being yourself. I'm proud of you for taking the decision of choosing your dream over money. A lot of good has come from that decision. You moved back home from Qatar and said goodbye to the beautiful city of Doha that you so love. Well, sometimes you gotta leave the things you love behind in order to open yourself up for new experiences. You took a solo trip this year to Himachal and wandered the mountain for two months. You also met a few subscribers along the way. You climbed your first mountain this year, which was pretty crazy since you have no trekking experience and also you are pretty unhealthy. You made a lot of good friends back home in India and created some really beautiful memories with them. Watching you make all these friends makes me so happy since I know how much you struggled to make friends when you were growing up. You took a lot of flights this year. And by a lot, I mean a lot. You moved to Philippines which in itself is pretty crazy. You went ice skating for the first time which was pretty awesome until you fell and broke your leg. You met a random Filipino family and became friends with them. You made a few friends here as well too. You finally came over your fear of heights and jumped from a cliff into the ocean which was pretty crazy considering the fact that you don't really know how to swim. But you've always been the crazy one, haven't you? You finally went scuba diving and ticked off your first itinerary from your Zindagi Na Milegi Dubara bucket list. You did your first photo shoot which turned out to be amazing. You also launched your brand which did really well. But most importantly, you created Shivani, Kamlesh, Sufyan and Kevin. As a kid, I remember you would often just drift away with your wild imagination, creating all these scenarios in your head. I'm so proud that you're giving life to your imagination. It's so beautiful to see you grow not just as a writer but also as an actor. Well, that's something you always wanted to be, right? Ever since you were a kid, you were always drawn towards the camera. Your love for cinema actually reflects in your work, Kevin. I think you could try to do anything that you want in your life. However, it is your curse that you'll end up doing what you're meant to do. And in your case, it is being in front of the camera. I see the amount of effort that you put in your work and how much you love doing this. You're doing great, Kevin. Stop doubting yourself. Everything will come to you when it's your time. However, life is not always that great and exciting. And I know that you've had some terrible days where you did not feel like getting out of bed or even having a decent meal. I know that you've had some days where you felt like there isn't any meaning to your life and never understood what is all the point of all the suffering. However, that, Kevin, is just life and that is what makes you value your good days even more. I want you to know that I'm proud of you for even making it out of bed and starting your day because, Kevin, that in itself is an achievement. I love how you're so good at pretending that everything is okay even though you're falling apart. I love how you can always put a smile on your face in spite of the fact that you've had the worst possible day. Look at you, Kevin, and see how blessed you are. Look at you traveling the world and always making new friends everywhere you go. Look at you taking care of your family and everyone around you. Look at you making everyone laugh and smile even if it makes you look like a fool. Look at you creating content and absolutely slaying at it. Look at you starting a YouTube channel in spite of the major insecurities you have of people judging you. Look at you featuring on a magazine cover in spite of the fact that you thought you'd never achieve anything in your life. Look at you with millions of views on your videos and finally being recognized as a mainstream content creator. Look at you giving hope and wisdom to people around you that need it. Look at you being an icon for people and inspiring them to be the best versions of themselves even though sometimes you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. I know right now you may seem a little lost but remember the time that you got lost in Himachal and found these three beautiful dogs and you trekked with them? 
Or a time that you got lost and saw the most beautiful sunset in El Nido. Or a time when you got lost in Bangkok and ended up at a strip club. That was pretty fucking awesome. Being lost isn't always such a bad thing. It opens you up to the possibility of anything. And that in itself is so exciting. It's only when you're truly lost, that's when you can truly be found. As I've always told you, Kevin, it's all about enjoying the journey. I hope you're coping well with your anxiety and depression because I know it's been rough. I hope you're responding to your texts and phone calls more often, especially from your mom and sis because I know that you've been disconnected lately. But it's fine, Kev. I want you to know that your mental health is way more important than your family, friends, prior commitments and your career. I know you have this famous habit of cutting people out of your life, but I want you to know that I am proud of you for letting go of people that no longer serve any value to your life. So if in case I unfollow you on Instagram, you guys know why. I'm glad that you have begun to accept yourself for the way you are while ensuring that you are working towards getting better but acknowledging that this is indeed a slow process. I want you to accept yourself with all your flaws because I know that you have so many but understand that it is only human and you're working towards getting better. I want you to accept that you've made some mistakes in your past but it was nothing but more than a learning curve for you. I'm happy that you are embracing your inner child and learning to be kind to yourself, Kevin. Also, I want to talk to the 26-year-old Kevin for whenever he sees this video. I hope you're still out there making new friends and memories and slaying every day as it comes. I hope you still believe that all of your dreams are possible and that you will achieve every single one of your dreams. I hope you're still making new connections and making the best out of every bad situation and that you will never stop believing that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. I hope that you are breaking down the walls that you build around yourself and being more vulnerable because that's the only way that you can allow new possibilities in your life. I hope that you can fall in love again and I hope that you fall hard in love. I hope that you are still a die-hard romantic person that you've always been who believes in the old school love. I really hope that by this time next year you have a girlfriend. I really hope Kevin, please find one. I hope that you can trust again and I hope that you still believe that you are meant for greater things. I hope that you are taking care of your health and not drinking yourself to death even though sometimes it can be indeed a lot of fun. I hope that you are still inspiring people around you and making sure that everyone has had a good time. I hope that you are healthy and I hope that you are healing. I hope that you never stop creating content and keep getting better at it. I hope that you never stop believing in yourself and keep chasing your dreams. I also really hope that you meet Bhuvan Bam someday because he is your absolute inspiration. I hope that by this time next year your sister is married to her long term boyfriend. I hope by this time next year you've at least crossed 500,000 followers on Instagram and at least 100,000 on YouTube. I think these goals are pretty reasonable. I know currently right now you must be celebrating your birthday all alone in some part of the world being all mysterious because that's how you manage expectations because to be very honest you hate celebrating your birthday but it's not your fault Kevin you've just never had anyone do anything special for you. You never had any friend call you up at 12 am and wish you happy birthday. You never had anyone come up to your place with a cake at 12 in the night. You actually never had anyone do anything special for you. But that's fine Kevin. I want the 26 year old Kevin Zinkai to celebrate the fuck out of his birthday and surround himself with the people that he loves. I know that you really wish that you could hear all these beautiful things from people that you care about but hey, it's fine, you're hearing it from me, even better right? I want you to know Kevin that I am so proud of you. I'm proud of you for who you are and the person you plan on becoming. I want you to know that I love you and that I will always be by your side. With lots of love, 24 year old Kevin Zinkai. To 25 year old Kevin Zinkai, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kevin.